What if your greatest hope was also your greatest fear? I hope to start new ways of thinking, new circles, new hoops that roll down the hill and create new and better things as they go. There are some hurtful and, and, and negative and painful uh, inheritance that all of us have, and indigenous people in particular. Native people, in my native tradition, we are, are taught to remember and honor those who came before us and remember and respect those who will come after. There's an obligation both in terms of where we came from and where we're going. My hope is that my brothers and sisters within the United Methodist Church Faith Communion would hear that this hope can be brought to life by their response, by their reaction, by their opening that door. And when I speak to people about this, there is, there is a door that is either open or close to me. And I can feel it. I can feel it. And my fear is that my brothers and sisters will turn their back to this issue. And, and in fact then, continue to do harm to my people. And the idea that I might be leading my people into a place where they will suffer more harm is intolerable. I, I, I can't bear the thought of that. I am genuinely stepping out in faith with my church. I am believing that there is a piece of every person in our United Methodist Connection who can relate, who is connected to, being part of that horrible uh, relationship of, of oppressor and those oppressed. Um, we, are, we are all in that dance, all of us. And my, my great hope is that my brothers and sisters, European Americans, will not turn from this moment. <laughs>